I have some game balls here. This was my first home run ball. Uh, it was a grand slam. This one is the World Series ball. And this one is my other um, home run ball that I hit in the same tournament. Ooh. It's gone. See ya. <laughs> Everyone knows you do not run for still a base on Chloe Carroll. My main goal in life is, I mean, to succeed. She gives it everything she's got. I believe it's a God-given talent. She's just so fast and so smart on the base paths. If she gets on, she's gonna score. Once she gets on first base, she's gonna be at third, two pitches. Giving 110% into everything I do, never giving up, you know, never taking a day off, just trying as hard as I can. Nice! Come here, Chloe! Come here! Come here! Come here! My name is Chloe Carroll, I'm 12 years old, and I play softball. If I say do backhands, you do the backhand. That way they all see it. Got it? Let's go. Her work ethic is pretty off the charts, to be honest with you. She pretty much focuses on softball year round. That helps her. I like training in the week to build up to the softball tournament. When I started training, I was eight years old. When she does things, it's never good enough for her. Not me, not her coaches. She challenges herself to be better than she was last time. She gives 100% effort every single play, and, and it's hard to find kids that do that. And that's the thing that we try to do is build confident people. I'm not LeBron James, else I'd be 6'8 and athletic. He's not me. And I think what you have to learn to do in your life is be the best version of you. You can do something they can't do. My dad is my coach. Uh, not always a good thing, but I mean, I love him. I love all my coaches. They're amazing. They do a great job. The technique I like to do in the outfield, what I call touchdown drills, is kind of like throwing a football to a receiver. Instead, I throw softballs and I make them turn, which works on their hand-eye coordination. I love blocking drills. They are my favorite. They're like where you drop when you're catching, and if a ball's in the dirt, you drop to keep it in front of you. It helps me get better at it, you know? Like, it helps my pitchers out. Good. When you got talent like, like her and the players we got on our team, if you let them be their self, they'll succeed. My favorite exercise is like throwing med balls. I love throwing the med balls into the wall. Perfect. You want to do any core? Well, as a strength coach, what you really appreciate about Chloe is even at her young age, she has a well-rounded approach. She understands that being an athlete takes more than just working on the skills of her sport. Wake up, go to the gym, 45 minutes to an hour, Go to softball practice, get ground balls, I hit, do blocking drills. I do gymnastics a lot to, you know, stay in shape, I guess. I like swimming, all that stuff. With uh, every young athlete, the first thing we begin with is learning the athletic position. It's the fundamental movement for any sport. And then we go through the hip hinge, which is one of the most important movements. Go to rest the hips back. That's better, good. So with a push-up, what we want to do is we want to create an arrow with our torso and our elbows, not a T. That way we're strengthening the muscles around the scapula and we're improving the muscles that are most important when it comes to an overhead athlete. Good, Chloe. Good. So with the bell squat, what we're able to do is avoid loading the spine, compressing the L1 through L5. And when Chloe's playing softball, she avoids hurting her low back or any sort of torque problems or any rotational problems that you would normally see with a back squat. The ability to uh, understand that this weight room is used to improve movements, not to be a better exerciser, is one thing she does really well. She's a part of a unit. Um, you know, she, she's going to have to work together. And it's not about how your individual accomplishments. It's, it's, it's how you can help your team the best, things that you can do yeah, to get that win at the end of the day. It's based on how she can help her teammates around her be better people and be a leader. She wanted to come out and, you know, hit with her dad and wanted to throw. And when she was knocking the glove off my hand, uh, she said, well, I can't slow down. I'm never going to get any better. As long as she continues to work hard and not take it for granted, she can do anything she wants in sports. She's a self-starter. She hits off a tee at home. Um, she, she, uh, she wants it really, really bad. Right now I'm hitting down the middle something I should drive, center, right center. For inside, where I come in like this, if I get it right here, 
I'm going to like pull off and miss it, but whenever I get out in front, I get on the barrel every time. Let's see that one. That was a good one. I would say I'm one of the hardest workers like ever. Like I'm hitting off the tee, 100 balls a day, throwing, I mean, watching softball videos to figure out, you know, how I can get better. I mean, hard work. Nobody. I'm just kidding. I'm hungry. Hello, my name is Cecilia Carroll, and today we are back with another cooking video. BLTs with fresh Kentucky tomatoes. Well, what's the first thing you get after your first base hit in every tournament? A chocolate bar. I get a chocolate bar. I love chocolate. Okay, trophies, rings. I played in this All American tournament. Um, I was my class MVP for sixth and seventh grade. I have three siblings, two sisters, one brother. Lily, you know, we're really close. Me and Avery, I mean, we play softball together. So, you know, that kind of brings us together. This kid, when she was a baby, was walking at six months and was crawling up a slide at nine months. She's a bit of a daredevil still. She wrote her own workout program and did it every day. I do the Peloton, 20 to 30 minute workouts. Not too bad. Got all my rings. These are from the All American tournaments. This is from the World Series. This is from Danville. These two are from Danville. And this one is from Pigeon Forge, I think. Playing Pigeon Forge. I have some game balls here. This was my first home run ball. Uh, it was a grand slam. This one is the World Series ball. And this one is my other um, home run ball that I hit in the same tournament. They get all these players from All American that played in all the American games all around. Um, the country and they form like a it's like the best of the best from the all-american i was on that team and we played in esp and wide world of sports it was just so cool it's a great experience the main benefit is um, the incredible opportunities she is a member of softball youth which is a program where she gets to travel my greatest hope for all my children is just that you're happy I want to, as her parent, give her every opportunity that I can to make sure she can look back and say, I gave it everything. For good luck. Batting glove on my left hand, no batting glove on my right. And whenever I'm not hitting, my glove has to go in my left pocket. Thanks for checking out How I Stay Busy. To see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to Whistle Sports. That's a wrap. <laughs>